guys, what's up? It's Katie Bang and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Takita wants to jump up, hold on. Okay, so this is Takito. If you don't know, if you do know, you know we love him a lot. He got thrown out of a truck. That was a whole series and a deal. Um, but today I'm I filmed a day in the life, and it's just a lot of like hectic, organized chaos. So I thought it would be very beneficial if I sat down with you and talked you through my day. So honestly, I feel like you guys are my family, and because of that. I'm pretty open about struggling with depression and anxiety. Some days I'm a happy girl. I've been really happy lately, but of course the day I decided to film, I was hit with a lot of anxiety. And my depression got pretty bad, and I really just tried to push through it all day long, but I thought it would be really beneficial or just like open and honest if I just kept that because I was like I could film a different day but honestly this is my reality this is my life so because of that before we get into the video which we will very shortly I want to summarize this really quick I reached out to a company that I love a lot they're called Soothe and or well Genix they create the product Soothe um the reason I reached out to them is because in my get ready with me I talked about taking CBD for the first time and how much it helped me manage my depression and anxiety. And this has become a very, very, very necessary tool in my daily life because this really does help me manage it. And of course, to the day you're seeing, I forgot to take it in the morning, so might have had something to do with it. But this is pretty much just CBD, which is a plant extract, um, and they put it into a mint, and it has calming effects, it helps with focus, it helps with soreness, pretty much everything, mind, body, soul. It really just is a natural anxiety and depression soother. And I like to like it a lot better than a medication because I have a lot of bad reactions to medication because I'm a very sensitive human. So it's literally just a little mint. You put it on your tongue, you eat it, and it's super good. I take it breakfast, lunch, and dinner because I have a lot of anxiety. <laughs> so it's really helped with that become a tool I have a 50% off code for you it's K bang really simple K bang type that in I like this a lot better than the dropper I tried the dropper and it honestly didn't work for me so if you're into CBD and you're using the dropper I would make the switch just because this you get the same amount of milligrams and dosage every single time you're taking it or with the dropper they have to dilute it down with the oil and everything and you drop it in one it tastes nasty and two they can't guarantee that you're getting the same amount of CBD every single time. This is an exact mint. The other one, you don't know how much you're getting. So like, it was really like, it would either work really well or not work at all, depending on when I took it and how much CBD I got in the dropper. So this is just way more consistent. Okay, so about my day. I always start my day walking dogs. Um, I love it. I walk a lot. It's good cardio. So I walk dogs every single morning. Then sometimes I have boarding dogs. When I filmed, I did it. I honestly did that because I had time to film then. Then I have a couple training sessions usually every day, so I'll film that. I really like going to the gym. I do cardio once, and then I go back and do lifting another time, which you'll see, but this day I came, went three times because my anxiety was just so bad, and instead of sitting down and getting in my head, I just went to the gym and worked it off. So there you go, that's that. Um, and honestly, I'm just gonna be open and honest in this whole thing. I said honestly so much, honest count. Um, I'm just gonna try to be open and honest. This is how my day goes. This is a real day for me and it's not as glamorous as it might seem. Like I'm kind of a mess sometimes. I'm an organized, chaotic mess. This is how we wake up. I don't know what to think of morning, but the cat's here. So say there's nervous. But he really wants snuffles. He really wants snuffles. And Takito's here. Oh, good morning. Oh, I'm gonna break out because of your tongue, but you're so sweet. Oh, awesome. I'm so say good morning. Oh, my God. Oh, Jazzy wants to say good morning. Uh, oh, Takito. <laughs> Okay, so I can't get the best footage right now because, like, it's dark out, <laughs> but I'm walking dogs. Um, I'll take a video with the flash in a second. 
so yeah pretty much all morning i just walk dogs and i go to different clients houses i load my dogs up and yeah so i just take my dogs to different client dogs houses and walk different client dogs together so everyone can socialize but still be safe on like the dog park so it's kind of like helpful for that kind of stuff so yeah fun zippy This is one of my clients, or this is Zed, and that's Zippy. And one cool thing about Zippy is she always has a special harness, depending on the season. So for Christmas, she had a reindeer one, and right now, she has a donut one because it's no specific time of year. Okay, so this is Nico. Taquito doesn't like Nico. But this is a dog that I walk, and his hip's been hurting, so he's had a couple weeks off. So I'm kind of just taking him through the motions a little bit today, not doing too much walking more. Like, I took him to get gas with me. We jumped in and out of the car and met some people around the gas station. Just getting him back into the swing of things without taxing his hip too much. But he's um, a pit bull lab mix, I believe. They didn't tell me that. I'm just assuming because he has that pit bully head and the labby type look he's just so cute he's pretty intense with other dogs so we've really been working on that but i love him wait nico you're so sweet he's good in the car this is probably not my best look ever but people want to know what it's like to be a dog trainer and honestly i do dogs i'm doing youtube i do a lot and it's been hard for me to film a day in the life because every day is different and I'm always, stop Jazzy, Jazzy's over here, and I'm always stressed out a little bit, not stressed, but have stuff to do. So I just forget to pick up a camera, like right now, making all of their food. Um, so you know what? I'm going to take you along on my day. So I decided to do this. It is 8.35 a.m. I've been up since 4 a.m. We just got done with a bunch of walks. So I walk dogs every morning. Jazzy, that's enough. And yeah, so we just got done with walks. I'm making them breakfast right now. I'm gonna try to clean the house up a little bit. Then I have a training session at 10. And then I'm gonna go to the gym with Angie after the training session. Then I'm gonna grind on the socials, edit a video. And then I have another client at two. So I'll keep you updated with that. Down. Kiss. Go. Sit pretty. Arthur, sit pretty. Oh, go boy. I'm gonna go give the guinea pigs their bell peppers. It's not your bell pepper. Oh, there he goes. Hey, buddy. He has such long hair. And Friday is in there. Friday is such a chunk. He has just been eaten real good lately. <laughs> I love him. He looks like a little bear to me. But you can see he's so big. And I really like his coat pattern. You're so pretty. He knows it. He's a little bit, he's probably the shyest skinny pig. Hi, Friday. Waffles is actually in quarantine because he's being treated for mites. So he has a little place to himself. And I put some Pedialyte in his water. And he's not a fan of that, so I'm going to have to just give him Pedialyte and a dropper and change this to water because I really want him to be getting everything out of his system. Here's some hay, some pellets, and I'm about to give him bell peppers to Trumpo pepper. Good boy, monkey. So I talked to the vet and they said the best thing to do it for mites with guinea pigs is to use Invectormin, which is honestly a horse warmer and you dilute it down. And so after I gave it to him, he started having a really bad reaction because you have to dose it out when they have mites. So his fourth one was the strongest dosage and he had a weird reaction. So I have him on his own so that I can make sure and like really watch how much hay he's eating, how many pellets he's eating, how much water he's drinking. So right now Waffles is alone and I'll have to put them all back together but I'm going to probably make that a video because I think it's interesting, especially if you have to quarantine one of your animals um, and they already have their little system going of who's in charge and who's not in charge. I think putting them together might be a little bit more difficult. There's Taquito. But I'm going to work on it and I'll definitely show you. He honestly will probably be 
by himself for at least another week. I want to make sure he's really, really healthy and strong, especially if he's going back there and having to decide and like figure out the pecking order almost. I think that he needs to be as healthy and strong as possible. I've also been mixing in a lot more alfalfa hay with him because he is sick or just a little skinnier because of all the treatments. So I've been doing that. I've been giving him Pedialyte in a dropper. I threw a little bit of Pedialyte in his water, which he isn't a fan of. So I'm going to take that out and give him regular water and just keep using Pedialyte in a dropper. With Pedialyte, you have to dilute it down though because he is a guinea pig. So it's obviously a lot of sugar if you just give him straight Pedialyte. TT, do you want to tell him what you did last night? No? Oh, you have, you have a shaving. So Taquito got into a box of chocolates and he ate the whole thing and I cried and cried because I thought he was gonna die and all he did was throw up all over his mom's bed and everything and yeah now he's healthy we we had to get him a lot of fluid to make sure he was okay but he's good now but I'm doing a lot of cleaning of throw up today Right, Taquito, was it worth it? Was it worth it? Yeah, it was my fault for leaving the chocolates in a place where you could sneakily jump on the table and get them. I love you. Oh, he's gonna try to find something. Taquito, where are you going? Oh, where are you going? What are you doing? Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. Oh, I love him. Oh, he's jumping. Oh, he's jumping. Okay, so now I'm making my bearded dragon salads. They're very cute. Um, I did mustard greens, turnip greens, and green bell peppers for today's salad. I'm going to put some Herptivite in it. I always do calcium, and then every third day, I always put Herptivite as a multivitamin in just for a little bit of extra nutrition. Now I mixed in their calcium and their worms and everything. Um, I don't give them worms a lot, but I went to the store today to get roaches, and they were actually out. So I'm going to give them worms today and go to a different store tonight and try to find roaches because we are out, and sometimes stuff like that happens. So it's always good to be a little prepared today. I'm just making a substitute and trying to find a solution as quickly as possible. <laughs> he eats so much. I make him a salad every morning and every night, and... He usually finishes the first one and almost finishes the second one. Um, he just is finally starting to put on weight, but he still struggles with it. He was really malnourished when I got him, so he still struggles with it. Um, that's my finger. No. All the snake cages and Sasha wanted to come by and say hi. Hey, Sash, how are you? Okay, I'm breaking out so bad. I don't know what's happening. I started my period. I think that's probably why. Sorry if you're a guy watching this. But I'm so embarrassed. Okay, but I have to go. I don't really have time to eat. I just finished mopping and sweeping and doing the carpets and vacuuming and everything. So I have my sausage. It's vegan sausage. sausage. Say sausage 27 times fast. Um, and I'm eating this on the way to... My client, it's 11, 10, um, and I'm doing okay. We got the client done, I got ready, I filmed a video. I look cute, hold on. I look like I'm about to kill the gym. I have new nails, but honestly, my room's a mess. And my heart hurts because I found the sticky note from my mom. I've been really happy lately. My depression hasn't been bad, but there's triggers sometimes. And today I was filming a video on how I've been doing and how happy I've been because I really have been doing so much better. But it is a roller coaster ride, and I found this sticky note. Um, it's the last nice thing my mom kind of did for me. So it says, Katie, love you so much. I know you'll be so successful. Wish you only love and happiness. Mom. And it's so simple. 
but like so much of me is just like I miss my mom I wish that I lived a life where I could call her up and be like hey this is my new favorite coffee creamer or hey do you want to get lunch but I don't and it, I can't have a healthy relationship with her and it hurts really bad um, so I'm gonna go run the stairs and then come back and try to film two calories okay, so productive. We're, <laughs> we're productive um, I feel a little better I am not crying as much she calls me I call her hey my mom doesn't love me! <laughs> and I'm like, what the? What is happening? <laughs> and now we're here. I did the Stairmaster before she got here. My headphones also broke. Um, so that's Someone sat on them. It wasn't me. Oh, we won't name any names. Um, but yeah, I'm a little sad still. But like, my, my cramps are really bad. But, but we're getting there. Give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Live, live, live. What? Give it a thumbs up. So I'm giving the goats their hay right now. Goats! You can hear them once they see that they're getting hay. They start getting really excited. There comes Sven. You want your hay? Okay, let's go. Oh, 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 um, excuse you. They used to be scared of humans. Now they're the pushiest goats ever. And it's my fault because I made them spoiled. So I was just giving them a little alfalfa. I filled their water up. Um, so I already did that. I didn't video that because that's always a little bit of a process. So yeah, they get a little alfalfa and then I'll give them their grain at night. This is Sven. And this is Snow White. So I'm here at the gym. It's eight on a Friday night. Love that. And I feel awkward filming so I'm hiding in the bathroom. <laughs> okay. But I'll probably just do the Stairmaster and abs because I hurt my back, so we're going to work for that. Look, at, isn't this outfit cute, though? <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> this is so awkward. I'm on the stairs. Okay, so I realized I never explained how the training session went. So I'm going to plug the dog I worked with in right here. Her name is Rosie. She's honestly the cutest dog ever. Like she's so cute. And her problem or what we're working on is she has older owners that aren't as active and she might be the most high energy dog I've ever met. She looks like a cute little dog. But as soon as I get there, she sprints around the house and doesn't stop. She's just out of control in every aspect of the word. So what we have been doing is the first session, we worked on leash skills. She's really been getting that. We've been working on healing by your side. And honestly, she's picked it up super fast. And then today, what we worked on is a little bit more leash skills. I just honestly checked in with their leash skills and she's doing so much better. I was like, geez, okay guys. And then the, what we worked on today is for her second session is commands. So today we did sit, down, stay, and leave it. That's We've done the foundation for every single command. So they have a week and a half to work on that. And then I'm going to go check in on them and see how it's going. But it was honestly really productive and she's the cutest dog ever. Can we talk about that? She's so cute. So that went well. Her owners are older. So unfortunately, I can't teach her how to bike and have them do that because that would be a really good outlet for her. But hopefully walking and a lot of working on commands and getting her mind stimulated will help her with everything. So for today's creature call, we're going to go with Heather Clur Clurico, Clurci Clariso, Heather, thank you so much for watching. I love you. Creature call out. You're the bomb. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate you. Let me know if my day is what you thought it was like or if it's not what you thought it was like because I'm interested. I'm very interested. I love you. I will see you next video. Bye-bye.